So I'm going to do a little product review. Today I'm going to be using Fenwick's window ice. This is what everybody swears by. So I'm going to use do it on the kitchen window. Now I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see with this camera. I'll hold it on there. I don't know if you can see the light scratches. I think too deep. Some light scratches in this window. So apparently need to do is put a little bit of this on a cloth, a nice clean cloth, give it a good shake, which I have. I'm going to put a little dot or two onto this uh, microfiber cloth. I'm going to rub it in, swirl it in, it says. Apparently, because it's got a mild abrasive, it gets rid of the little scratches. So I've never done this before. I don't know how much to rub it, how much to put on. But I put a bit of pea size on there. Make a rub and see how it looks. Right, so I'm gonna put another pea size on now. And to the rest of the window. Bright sunshine, yes. Yeah, so I'm not sure how much it's going to dry out as I'm rubbing it on. Don't think I have to leave it, it just says rub it in small circles. And then rub it off. So I'll use the clean part of this cloth. So there it goes. I feel a bit good because there's quite a few swirls in this. Uh, this window. Right, so apparently all I've got to do now is rub it off. So that's what it looks like. As you can see, the sun is, uh, is good because it highlights any scratches. Alright, so mm, not bad. I'm sort of got rid of all of them. I don't think it's like a, a miracle stuff. So what I'm gonna do, if you wanna see a bit closer. I'm gonna have another go. I'm gonna do another like, little uh, rub over and see how that goes. So it's a different part of the cloth. Once again, we need a pea shape. Pea shape. I don't know. The amount of a pea. This part seems to be quite bad, so you know. Another little bit, just sort of got them, probably half the amount that I used on the last bit. Right, let's have a look, let's buff it off and see. Okay, so I 
I'll just give you a once over. See what you think. Mm, to be honest, I'm not over impressed. Remove scratches on plastic acrylic windows for all caravans and motorhomes. Hmm, not sure. Not sure. If I'm doing something wrong, let me know in the comments. Because, like I said, I'm not over impressed. We've had breakfast. This is uh, Sunday, Sunday morning. We'll pack up to go home soon. You have to put some uh, petrol in the car, so I have to find the petrol station. So, like we spoke about earlier, what things have we learnt this trip, this weekend? Not to come away with you. <laughs> right, okay, but we've learnt. If you're only going to come away for the weekend, perhaps keep it a little bit more local. Yeah? Yep. Okay, uh, what else have we learnt? Don't leave cans of dark fruit in the freezer because they explode and you're fridge gets all red it's not good uh, bring two towels we only brought one towel so good job it was sunny so we had time to dry out before we use it again uh, anything else you can think of don't piss on the seat sorry don't piss on the seat and you did that twice I'll cut that bit um, I don't think of anything else really. Uh, it's pretty good. We're getting better. This is only our fourth trip away. So we are getting better with learning things. Is there anything else we can think about what we would do better next time? Uh, no. Bring barbecue food. Barbecue food, yeah. We've got a barbecue in the cupboard, in the yeah, little portable barbecue. Uh, so bring some barbecue food if the weather's nice. Um, yeah, I think that's it, isn't it? Sun cream. Sun cream, as you can tell. As I spoke to a posh lady in the dishwashing area yesterday, I said I was looking a bit red, and she said, yes, you are a little bit crimson. I thought, oh, I knew she was posh because she said crimson. And the gentleman that she was with didn't call it a washroom or a toilet, he called it a WC. So there you are. And they've been caravanning since 1973. I was only three then. So fair play to them. I bet they don't drink a bottle of wine a night, do they? I'd probably bring two. Right, anyway, so I've got to start packing up now. So I might do a little time lapse and you can see my uh, my packing up. I think I still need to work out a routine on that, but we're getting there. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the waste containers done. I always like to give them a bit of a rub down afterwards because we're storing them in the van, in the van washroom. There's all grass everywhere, all rubbish and dust. Okay, so on to the next thing. Oh, next thing is the electrical hookup. Um, never undo it from the caravan first because then you're walking around with the cable all this life. Always go to the hookup first and then come back to the van, like so. This not too tight a coil when you are using your hookup. Uh, if you leave them tight in a coil, they could overheat and cause a fire. So make sure you, you know, so like to coil them a little bit, but not too much because it can cause a fire. And I will put a picture of something along those lines. I will save for taking the awning down. Ok, 
Okay, so uh, I'm off to put some petrol in now. I've taken the awning down, done all the waste, um, unhooked the power, uh, emptied the Alsan. I filled up with fuel in this car. Seventy pounds. In half a mile, turn right onto the A four eight six. Okay, thank you. And um, I've used, uh, I'd probably say, just over half a tank. So I just want to make sure I've got enough fuel to get back. I don't want to be pulling in petrol stations with a caravan. So the fuel station is about eleven miles away. So that's where I'm going now. I'm going to fuel up. When I get back, I'm going to finish off, and then we're going to head back home. Of the place, uh, and any things that we, anything else that we think that we've learned, and uh, look forward to the next one. I'm not sure if we're going to go away now. Uh, we're going to New York for two weeks on the 3rd of August, so I'm not sure if we're going to get to uh, have another weekend away. If we do, I'll be sure to uh, log it if you like. What you see, like and subscribe, uh, it'll help the channel, as they all say. As this is my first video, I need all the help I can get. Right, let's go and find some petrol.